10 students so in this video we are going to do one of the chapters of term 4 so the chapter that i have with me here um, is called accounting or we call it manufacturing all right so the question paper uh, that we have guys is going to be part of paper 2 of the final examination that you are going to write okay so maybe uh, before we start with our question let me give you a background of what actually cost accounting is all about all right when we talk about cost accounting guys we are talking about a business a business that manufacture product this business does not rely on buying product from other company and sell it they produce on their own and they sell it okay so here is the basics uh, or the words that you need to understand number one you must understand what is indirect material you must understand what is direct labor you must understand what is indirect okay uh, let me write it in so in this way victory overhead Okay, you must also understand what is um, prime cost. You must also understand indirect material and indirect labor okay uh, let me explain this word so that we can proceed guys when we said a direct material a direct material we are talking about a material that we use to produce a product if we are talking about tables and chair we are talking about a wood that we use to produce a uh, tables and chair we call it a direct material these are the major material to produce a good direct labor we are talking about those who produce the product we call them a direct labor a prime cost is when we add direct material and direct labor prime cost is equal to direct material plus direct labor is going to give you a prime cost when we talk about factory overhead you can call it manufacturing overhead you can call it indirect cost factory overhead are all those items that they were assisting us to produce these goods but they were not direct they were indirect for example uh, we have a cleaners we have factory foreman we have a lot of things you guys anything that were there on the building that we were producing their indirect cost or manufacturing or factory overhead okay it has a different name you must know all of them indirect material there are those material that they were not directly involved to the product but they were there assisting okay and we also have indirect labor indirect labor can be a cleaner someone who was working on the factory but not producing okay now the next step is to understand what is total cost and what is per cost or per unit per unit cost guys when we say a total cost we mean total of everything the number you will see it by because 
it will be larger number or larger amount per cost per one item one item this one is all item all right that's what you need to know uh, first before you start with your uh, manufacturing all right so factor overhead guys we have uh, many examples okay let's look at what we have on this question paper uh, so that you can learn some of the examples because we can't list all of them there are so many it depends on the company that we are dealing with okay now let's uh, try to answer this question 4.1.1 uh, we have a 4.1.1, 4.1.2. Okay, they said a direct labor and direct material used in the factory are equal to overheads or prime. It's equal to prime. Remember, I said that prime. Is what is direct material and direct labor okay 4.1.2 salary of factory cleaner is an indirect or direct labor cleaner is not direct is indirect cleaner is indirect okay then they said a rent of building is considered as factory overhead or delivery of course rent of building building that is is there when we produce is a factory overhead Four point one point four. factory overheads cost are direct or indirect manufacturing expense that are related to the production of finished goods factory overheads cost are direct or indirect obviously they are indirect because i said fixed rubber is, is the same as indirect okay 4.1.5 an expense for factory rent is recorded as factor overhead it's not direct overhead guys when we say direct direct is direct labor and direct material direct labor those who were producing Direct material, those material that has been used uh, to produce a cell phone, that has been used to produce a marker. Okay. Now, let's go to 4.2. Explain the difference between fixed cost and variable cost. When we talk about fixed, we're talking about a cost that remains the same the whole year. Variable, they are not remaining the same. They change according to the number of units that we produce. That's the difference between these two. Okay, 4.3. Dan Malgas uh, manufacture and sell kite for children and the selling price is 155. He manufactured 2,500 uh, kite during October. Provide below is summary of all cost for October. 4.3.1. 4.3.1 Calculate the direct material cost per kite for October 2022. Direct material cost per kite. Let's check on our table. We have a cost per kite. Okay, we have a material per kite, which is 25 rand. We're going to say 25 rand. Plus, let's take another uh, direct material. We have a wood, 5 rand. And we also have line to, to do a kite. Line per kite is 5 rand as well, uh, which is going to give us how much? A wage per kite, guys. A wage is a salary, which means that this one is direct labor, not direct material. So this all that we have for direct material and is going to give us uh, 35 rand. The five rand per unit. They didn't say total. If they if they said pay, 
you must write it like this. But if they said total, you multiply by the number of units that we produce of 2,500. Okay, now they said a total, uh, calculate the total manufacturing overhead is the factor overhead. They said the total, not per unit. Okay, five marks. 4.3.2. Let's check the cost for the month. Salary of factory supervisor is factor overhead. We're going to add 5,000 plus rent for factory. Yes, it's also part of it. 8,000. And we also have water and electricity for factory. It's for factory. Yes, it's for under here. Uh, 2,500. And we also have indirect material. Of 500 so if we add all of this they gonna give us 16,000 okay calculate the total production cost for October if 2500 kite will produce so how to calculate production cost? We have to add number one. We must have direct material. We must have direct labor. And we must also have factory overheads. Okay. Let's check. For factory overhead, which is this one, we have it is 16,000. But direct material, guys. We have only 35 rand. You must say 35 rand multiplied by uh, 2,500. Uh, let me calculate. Uh, 35 rand multiplied by 2,500 is going to give you 87,500. Direct labor. Remember they said a wage. Okay, let me go back to question paper. They said a wage a per kite is 50 rand. We have to say 50 multiplied by 2,500. 50 multiplied by 2,500 is going to give us 125,000. And we're going to add all of this. Uh, plus 87,500 and one twenty five. Okay, it's going to give us 337,500. So that's answer for number 4.3.3. Total production, you must have direct material, direct labor, and factory overheads, and you add them together. Formula does not change. Always stay the same. Okay, 4.3.4. They said we have to calculate those total, but per unit. We have to say... 337500 and now because we are going back to unit we must divide when we go to total we multiply we're gonna divide by uh, 2500 and we're gonna get how much per unit uh, we're gonna get okay let me confirm this Okay, wait, wait, guys. Okay, 87,000. We got it by saying 35. My plan by 2,500. Give us 87. Okay. And again, we said 50. My plan by... 50, my plan by 2,500. It give us 125. It's correct. And okay, now let's add them plus 87,500 
500 228 500 all right you must verify the calculation uh, in every lesson guys because sometimes we do mistake when we calculate using a cell phone okay uh, let's proceed uh, this one is correct when you say this one divided by this one we're gonna get per unit of 91 rand 40 all right now the last question calculate the percentage profit that then my glass in pay kite during october if kite was sold by 155 we have to calculate a markup and the formula for markup we say gross profit divided by cost of sales blah blah by 100 let's identify gross profit here gross profit we need to say a selling price of 155 155 minus 91 40 divided by the cost of sales of 91 40 then it's gonna give you you must get answer for this first and then it will give you uh, 70 percent when you round it off 69,6 and you write it off write it off to 70 percent so this is how uh, manufacturing will look like guys so for those who are not part of extra class please make sure that you join extra class uh, so that you can get a good marks like other students that they have been with us for very long time since the beginning of the year also guys um remember we also have a study guide so that you can get uh, questions like this so many questions from this chapter so that you can practice and practice and practice and get a good mark so i hope you enjoy and also guys don't forget to subscribe because i noticed that some of you you didn't and if you didn't subscribe some of the videos are not going to appear on your site you just gonna watch some selected video that are made for public but if you just subscribe guys which is free uh, you're gonna watch a lot of videos so i will see you on the next one